Father's Day is, to me, it's not just an event, not just one day, but it's really like an experience that it's different for every for every person who attends it. Oh, it's a celebration. Uh, it's a time when you see the dads and the sons together with the moms just go to school, just have one whole day of fun. It's really a time to celebrate being a family at Southridge. Uh, for me, it's the day that the Southridge boys um, wait for the entire school year. It's the most awaited event of the year. Yeah, yeah. What Father's Day means to me is that I get to celebrate and do things with one of the most special people in my life, my father. It is the day I get to tell him and show him how much he means to me. It, it's something I think the parents look forward to every year every because year. we get to spend time. We get to spend time with each other. With each other. With each other. We get to see each other. Then we see all the performances. Mm -hmm. Everybody works hard yes. to come up with something yes. special for everybody. And it's the only time all the families are together for yeah. that one yes. event. And it's really a collaboration. Yeah. Aside from celebrating fatherhood and male parenting, Father's Day is a special day to show our gratitude to dads for their essential role and involvement in their collaboration with the school and in providing their sons a feeling of security, whether physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. Well, Father's Day for us as students, back when I was a senior, meant as, was an opportunity to, to show everybody what we've been learning for the past 12 years, you know to show our creativity and, and our ideas all in one. It starts out when you're younger as something that you go to to enjoy, to, to really explore. As you grow older, as you, as you get into high school and eventually junior and senior year, you, you're the ones organizing it. So it ends up mean, meaning so much more to you. It was my absolute pleasure to add the next chapter of the ongoing saga between Bluebeard and Greenheart and to even sprinkle in some twists here and there with their storyline and Andy's. I think when this pandemic started, there were lots of concerns whether this whole online setup would be you know, a burden to a lot of the students um, with their mental health and stuff like that. Um, so I think as the house captains, we give them a sense of like joy or hopefully joy, but like something they can put their mind off besides school. With the, with, the, with the activities, with the um, games and stuff like that, and all the events. So hopefully, like, besides working on school, we shift their minds a bit, you know, to be a bit free, to be competitive, to be, you know, to have fun, essentially, yeah. Other than winning, we want them to adapt to the school year well. Knowing the online situation, the online setup, I think what we wanted to do, most especially, was to give, have fun, and to give entertainment to the kids uh, so that, uh, you know, especially since we're not going to be seeing each other a lot, there's no face-to-face -face contact, we just wanted to have some entertainment through the online platforms. Definitely trying to just set up a cohesive Father's Day, especially for this year, you know. It took a lot of reimagining. We had to appropriate uh, certain events and activities so that it would be able so that we could do it in this new online setup well i think our mindset our, our general mindset this year was to keep it alive instead of like you know bringing it to greater heights um it was to ignite the fire again in this whole vinten helm rivalry since like this house cup is very uh, new um we wanted to show that the green heart, blue beard, and all the other roles of the House Cup is a, a very uh, important and uh, inspirational role to the people or to Southridge. We're also leaders and uh, we're going to impact the school as much as we can in the position that we were given. Legacy, I think mm, maybe it's more on pulling this thing off. Um, despite all the challenges and that just reflects really um, certain leadership types. It was just nice to see kids asking like what's gonna happen to Father's Day? Yeah, Let's yeah. beat Helm this year. Yeah. yeah. The most difficult thing about working in this pandemic was connecting to others. Ironically, a lot of meetings had to be set, you know, lots of crunch time. See how it worked before was just you go to the other classroom, you 
pull out the guy you need. Hey, we gotta work on this. Bam, it's done. Well, now it's even more exhausting because everything has to be so meticulously planned out. There's no room for error whatsoever. But of course, it's so worth it. We just had to adapt and try to make things fun and still um, everything that a Southridge boy knows about Father's Day and the whole Vinton Helm rivalry in this new online setup. The House Cup and everything, so to have those competitions. And, uh, um, you know, it's if there's one thing I guess that, you know, makes an admiral like looking forward to a school year would be Father's Day. And we really wanted to, uh, we really wanted to make that vision happen. I'm part of this year's tech committee leading the game development. Um, it's quite the new experience because there wasn't a committee like this last year and the idea of even having a game was uh, pitched to me at uh, late January so you could imagine like how stressful it was to like try to develop a game within less than two months. The marketing committee work this year it's more intense as compared to previous years because now that we've shifted Father's Day into an online setup, um, everyone is more exposed to the marketing materials we'll post online and all that. The biggest, the biggest problem we had when entering this Father's Day was how are we gonna market the whole event in this online setup? Like not traditionally, we didn't have like posters to print. We didn't have the leverage of like the privilege of like going out to other schools and like by word of mouth. So the biggest challenge for me and also for Merch Committee in general was uh, teamwork because uh, with the, you know, the COVID, the pandemic, it's hard to work together, especially in online setup. So the merch work this year is basically heavy on the kit boxes and the clothing. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, this year uh, we added more merchandise since of course everyone's gonna stay home uh, they want a piece of that Father's Day and we believe more merchandise is gonna bring that uh, bring that experience to the students and to the parents and of course to anyone who wishes to go to Father's Day uh, I myself so also a father I got here my son ko, uh, from uh, grade, uh, grade 1 to uh, grade 5. So, I experienced the yung, yung, uh, uh, father. The yung, yung celebration of Southreach is uh, uh, the best, especially when there are events. Especially when I was in the line of uh, being an audiovisual technician. So, I had a request from uh, uh, in charge ng uh, council para sa uh, Father's Day ay pinuprovide na para sa school. And, syempre, na-experience ko lahat. Concert, uh, iba yung mga event, yung mga mga flow. Depende sa uh, event na nangyayon. Engagement ko dito sa Father's Day, yung mga request ng mga bata, uh, kailangan ko i-provide, especially sa sound system. Uh, yung mga parents na may request, pag uh, kailangan nila ng uh, music or kailangan may i-edit ng music so uh, kailangan may provide yun Well, I always find myself returning to Southridge because returning to Southridge was is like returning home you know, I grew up here and I was spent most of my life here more than half of my life in Southridge where so many familiar faces so many places that remind me of of nice memories and people who helped me grow to the person I am today. And and just returning to that is like reconnecting to that nice time in my life actually. I always find myself returning to Southridge because it is my family. I made all these memories, friends, and all these experiences and values. It taught me uh, everything I know today and I wouldn't be who I am without it. The activities I miss on Father's Day are the morning parade where we get to show off our costumes, the dance itself where we get to show all our hard work and preparation. And after at night, 
We can eat and relax with all our families and classmates. As a teacher, I normally give my best effort together with other teachers in helping the parents or guiding my students, particularly grade 9, to prepare and give a simple yet meaningful presentation for the night parade. I like seeing all the dads dancing we with also, the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you know that your husband is not really into dancing. Yes, yes. <laughs> he, he actually is forced to do it. Forced to do yeah. it. He, had no yeah. he has no choice but to do it for the kids and all. So that's something I really find special during yeah. Father's Day. The smiles of the kids, seeing their dads dancing beside them or dancing with them, it's something like I've always been saying that it cannot be, you know, cannot replicate. Be, replicate. Yeah. You'll just be amazed with the creativity of the school. Uh, and it's a time that you feel it's a community because everybody just gives their 100% effort and more just to showcase the talents of the kids. Um, yeah, and I guess also the concerts. Uh, it's a time when dads really get to unwind and have fun with the moms. Uh, For us, we stay. Like, or, um, yeah, we stay all the night. Until the concert, yeah. not the concert. Yeah. 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 All everything, because it's really a family day for everybody. Parang it's a bonding na rin for the whole batch. The whole batch, the yeah. And then you get to meet the other parents from the other levels. Correct. And then the, the spirit, everything. Yeah. And the kids, if you guys, yeah. they really, really enjoy it. Yeah, just yeah. running around, yeah. but you know, they're having fun. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Oh, what I enjoy most is the bonding with our co-parents, with our friends from different levels. I enjoy the food. I enjoy watching the kids and the dads, of course. Father's Day means a lot to me because it is one of the most important events that everyone looks forward to. And for me personally, being able to organize something big and successful that not only unites the batch, but the entire student body as well, is one of the best feelings that I'll ever have. Well, as an alumni, going back to Southridge always reminds me of the talent and the, the genius of, of a Southridge gentleman, you know. It, it's a huge, it's a huge uh, production, and, and I just, awe, I'm just in awe whenever I, I go back to Father's Day because it just, it shows me that ang galing ng mga Southridge students. This is teamwork. Teamwork is one of the more important things that uh, has to be in a committee like this one, like programs. Everyone's absolutely pouring all their best efforts and passions. For me, restriction is just another opportunity for innovation. One thing I learned this year was. That the online setup is really vast. Like you can look at it in a way that you're so limited or you can't do all the physical plans you had in mind, but you can also look at it in a way that if you think outside of the box, you can really do things that you know have never been done before. And that's what I'm really proud about our council. I guess one of the main virtues that I've learned, well not just handling fa uh, Father's Day, the programs committee, but I guess with online school in general is uh, adaptability. You now despite the circumstances that we were in right now, despite the uncertainty that we felt during the pandemic when it happened. You know, life goes on and we have to adapt to it. I think persever perseverance uh, was the main virtue that I think I practiced mostly this year in terms of uh, doing Father's Day work. I think one of the other things that makes me, that helps me practice this virtue is thinking about the end result. Um, I think seeing what you've made is uh, so much more than the challenges that you've come across. And I think that to me um, is just more than enough to keep going. You know, the fact that this was our last s school year, that this is our graduating year, and you know, with everything that the, the pandemic took from our batch, like, you know, Bansag or um, having physical classes, physical Father's Day, I think um, the fact that we were given Father's Day this online Father's Day by, you know, the school. Um, we made it a point to do the best we can out of it. And like, you know, uh, when we graduate, this is what we're gonna leave for the school. And maybe, you know, future batches can look at how we have adapted to like situations like these. Everything about the council, um, the, the members of the council, the parents, the alumni, the students, Teachers, they, they're all the ones who keep us motivated to, to work more and to do more. Um, even the, in this physical, even in this difficult setup. Um, 
and also the obviously you feel that sense of uh, accomplishment and fulfillment after you complete a project after you complete um, an event and that's really fulfilling to us and I think that that's what always pushes me forward to continue this uh, for this year's Father's Day I think it was uh, very inspirational for all of us because even if it was online setup uh, people were still you know working and very ganado about making sure that we still have a Father's Day even during the pandemic and I think we just want to be remembered first for being um, the first batch to do this whole online setup and also for doing a great job at it. Win, 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 win. Gotta keep winning. I think, um, like on the serious note, uh, <laughs> you know, just to, you know, don't leave your helm brother behind. Amen. You gotta keep them together. Whatever happens, you know, happens. So that no matter how like unique or how different all the Father's Days are, they all have that same purpose of bringing families together, bringing friends together every year for that one unforgettable experience. Father's Day is of course dedicated to the fathers, but eventually it became so much more. It evolved into this commemoration of Southridge pride and skill that the batches, specifically of course the senior batch who would organize this event, that they would be able to come together and pull off something greater than any individual achievement. So to all the families, I hope that today and the previous weeks and all the challenges really, really meant a lot to you, really entertained you, and I hope that it brightened up your days. Um, and to, to the students, of course, keep in mind that today is it's meant for your fathers. It's, it's a special day for them. So, you know, give them a hug, tell them you love them, and make them feel special. We made this event for or most importantly for the families. Um, it's just something that we wanted to give to you guys since, especially in this pandemic, uh, the family is one of the, everyone's family is the most important thing that we have right now. Um, and we just wanted to give something back to you guys. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for attending. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everyone. Keep the tradition alive. More importantly, Happy Father's Day! Thank you.